Hi everyone, we're going to look at density again today and this time it's a demonstration with salty water and fresh water. I've had these sitting on the bench for a little while just to get them nice and still and with the salty solution here I put probably about a tablespoon of salt in and had that dissolved in there so we're all ready to go. Now what we'll need are these two jars, we'll need some ice and also some food colouring. What we're going to do is place a piece of ice on top of our fresh water here first and when we put the food colouring on top, that's going to travel down with the ice that melts down through here. Let's have a look and see what happens when I do that. Let's place a piece of ice on top. And now that is already going to start to melt. I'll just drop a few drops of food colouring on there. And you watch as that picks up the cold water and that starts sinking down into the fresh water we've got there. Some very cool patterns going on, isn't there? Lovely, and it just shows how that cold water is more dense and it's starting to sink down. Great, now we're going to try it again, this time on the salty solution. Hey, a technical word for that one would be salinity. Salt water is salinity. Now I'll drop that one in again, and it floats again. And this time we put on here, and I'd love you thinking, hey, what's going to happen when I put that? Drop the same amount of drops on the top here, and the ice is melting, but as it's doing it, it's not actually going down. Come and have a look on the top here, and you'll see that that melted ice is just sitting on top of this um, salt water. How interesting that, and I'm seeing with the other one now, that's actually mixed up quite a lot altogether. Now, this is a great connection with the Southern Ocean and when we get our ice caps, ice caps don't have salt in them. But yeah, no, they don't have salt in them because as they freeze, I like to think of them as sort of spitting or just with, um, getting rid of the salt and that drops down lower into the um, ocean below it. Hey, the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, let's say that again, Antarctic Circumpolar Current is a very, very cool one to have a look at. Why don't you look up and find out a little bit more about that? Have a go at this great demo though now. I'd love you to hear how you get on. Bye now.